In every organization, there are going to be people problems. People are, are your biggest asset. And so you do need to manage all elements of people management in order to be successful. Now you might be asking, when do you hire your very first person? And I remember doing that myself and it was scary. So I think the first person that you need to hire is more administrative. You're the technical person, you're the expert. You have to be paying attention to the elements of expertise. Get somebody else to deal with the phone calls and the administration and the invoicing because you need to be busy with your technical aspects. Look for a protege, someone that you can train up to do some of the work that you are doing yourself. And then at some point, you need to have those salespeople because sales is what makes the world go around. You can't just put an advertisement in the paper and get that solid candidate. You have to plan. You need to know exactly what tasks the individual is doing. And you don't just look at the tasks, you look at what are the skill sets that a candidate needs in order for them to be successful in doing that task. And you also need to look at what is going to motivate an individual to apply. Because you know, there are eight different motivators that people have. One of them is autonomy and independence, for instance. So if your job allows an individual to be independent, make their own decisions while you're out working, then that's the kind of person that you need to look for. Now you're interviewing. And you have to be very careful as new entrepreneurs because you probably don't know the legislation. There are a whole number of questions you cannot ask that are illegal. For instance, do you have children? Are you married? What's your religion? Is that going to impact my workplace? You cannot ask those questions. You also need to learn to use behavioral interviewing questions. What do I mean by that? A behavioral question is asking a candidate for real experience. So here's the difference. What would you do if a customer was really angry at your boss? Anyone with good communication can make up an answer and it sounds really good. But that's not a good question because you don't know whether the individual can really do this. So you turn around and ask a behavioral question and that question would say, tell me about a time, a real situation where a customer was very angry with your boss. And what you look for is what is the situation, what did you do, and what was the result? So you know then that your candidate can really do the job. You can look those up on the internet. There's lots of good examples of questions. And the key thing is, is to be systematic, ask the questions that are legal, and you will find the right candidate. One of the key challenges for new entrepreneurs is payroll. How many times a month do you pay? A lot of people say once a month. Well, excuse me, legislation says you have to pay twice. The second one is overtime. And, and many times entrepreneurs are very casual about overtime. You're not documenting. You're not giving formal permission. And I've had experience where an individual receptionist logged up 200 hours of overtime because she thought she had permission and she didn't. So be very careful to authorize in writing any kind of overtime. The third thing that you need to pay attention to is the legislation and particularly as it relates to statutory holidays. I had a situation not long ago where an individual company didn't want to pay their employee for a day before the stat holiday. She took that day off, leave without pay, and then he didn't want to pay her for the statutory holiday. That's against legislation, particularly if that person's been working for you for over 30 days. So pay attention, you can really get hurt. And it doesn't matter whether you're a big company or a small company, the costs and the penalties can be the same.